So we're here at the example table, and in this video we're going to talk about three summation formulas. So these are formulas that are going to come up very often when you're computing Riemann sums. So the first one is the sum from i equals 1 to n of i. So things like 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, and so on. They take this form. And this is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. Another one is the sum from i equals 1 to n, not just of i, but of i squared. Right, so 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus blah, blah, blah all the way up to n squared. This is n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6. And finally, we have i equals 1 to n. Well, we did i, i squared. Let's now do i cubed. So the sum of the first n cubes. This, somewhat remarkably, is n times n plus 1 over 2 quantity squared. So it's this formula only squared. Let's look at, uh, let's look at an example. So, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. Well, you can verify that this equals 21. And 21 is, by the formula, n is now 6. So we have 6, which is the n, times 7, which is the n plus 1, over 2. Right? 42 over 2 is 21. Let's look at one more example. Let's look at 1 plus 8 plus 27 plus 64. This is the sum of the first four cubes, right? 1 is 1 cubed, 8 is 2 cubed, 27 is 3 cubed, and 64 is 4 cubed. This sum, well, it's 9. 9 plus 27 is 36, plus 64 is 100. Now. We should plug it into that third formula that we just saw. n is 4, so we have 4 times n plus 1, which is 5. Divide that by 2 and square it. And this is true, right? Because 4 times 5 is 20, over 2 is 10. We square it, we get 100. So these formulas are going to come in handy when you're computing Riemann sums and you have the limit of a summation. And you want to turn the summation into something that you can write with an explicit formula without a sigma.